Hi, Jens is Stompy Tutorials here. I've been asked to make videos, more videos about easy tricks. And here it is, five easy tricks you can do anywhere on the mountain, pretty much, and that pretty much anyone can do it. Check it out. So daff is maybe not the coolest trick, but if you combine it with a butter, they can be wicked. So before you try your first daffy butter, you can use your poles to push yourself up while you spread the legs. Feel which leg you want to do with first. And uh, when you do this, you'll notice that you really have to use the muscles on the front of the leg, on the front ski, and back of the leg on the back ski, sort of, to like really pull it up there. Um, let's try this a couple of times. And then also when you do this, you can keep an eye on the tail so they won't catch an edge. Oh, the other way. And then you can try without the poles on. When you do without the poles, you have to jump some to crouch down. So you see, you can't stay on the nose for so long. But if you're on a roller, you can do it for longer. All right, after you try this, do it with a bit of speed at your ride, and then you pop, try the daffy. Before you do this, learn 180s. And then we just add the daffy. Pretty easy. The wind up top. So, when you carve into a roller doing this, I think it makes more sense, it feels better for me, if I spin to the right, that I go with left foot forward. It feels sort of more natural to have that one downhill in the butter, just like if you would turn that way. Uh, or if you spin to the left, then the right foot first. Surely you can do it the other way around too, but this comes more natural for me. And also, the reason why I want you to carve in is that you're already on the uphill edges. So if you set off a gentle rotation and do this, you're on the uphill edges already. Less risky to catch an edge. And you can totally do daffy threes. You can see it as a jump where you hit the roller and then just You can do it like this. That's pretty neat too. I will also ditch these ones. No poles. So the next trick is worm turns. Then you get wet. So uh, the red jacket is back. Empty your pockets of telephones. Oh, and this expensive microphone. You don't need a microphone shaped bruise there and telephone shaped bruise there. I'm all protected from all the weather. That's how you do a worm turn. To do that, you need to find a flat spot. And it's very important that before you do the turn, you sit down. You can sort of slowly roll out like this. And arm should go up the hill because if you go down, you know, maybe you can get stuck somehow if, if there's a bump you didn't see. So, we do this at very low speed first. So, uh, check it out. Sit down, right on hand. Notice how the feet are up here. They have to be there. Otherwise, the noses can get stuck. That's annoying. And you just roll over. If you have put down the skis at a bit of an angle, then, you know, they're gonna start breaking. It's gonna make it quite easy to stand up. That didn't go so well. When you're at high speeds, be careful that you don't carve hard or too hard that you start spinning around like a Polish donut. When you were worm turning at low speeds, it was nice to put those edges into the ground and use that friction to stand up. But at higher speeds, that doesn't work so well. So then try to point the skis almost straight down when you put them in. Otherwise they grip too much and causes a bit of a wobble. This spin is a originally a skateboarding trick when you where you stand still on an object and spin around. It's pretty cool. So let's look into it. 
When you do it, I like to ride in, wind up a bit of rotation, lift the foot up, and then I push up from the right foot and push down the left foot on the ice ball, swing the arms around, then put those feet down close together. As you spin, hold the arms close, pop off the thing and enjoy the NATO spin. So try that several times before you even think about doing it on a cooler feature like this one. You see here it's pretty high so I have to really lift that left foot up. I push off pretty hard from the right foot, swing those arms together, pull them in, I spin, have a really good time, pop off the feature. And I'll be honest and tell you, oh boy I was surprised when I got this Natus 540 down. Anyway, make sure that you hit the edge of the thing straight under your foot. It's going to help you get better balance when you're on it. And also think about if you need to stand vertical or if you need to be a little bit on an angle to like get the pop off the end. That's a variation, you know, you can spin on one foot or you can spin one foot at 720. You can also do nato spins on rails to get started. That's pretty sick. All right, let's check out a pretty neat way of spinning around to switch called J-spin or J-walk spin. I'm not sure, but it's pretty neat and I like it. Something that's cool with this trick is that you can do it before features and make something like that. Or you can just do it when you want to turn around to switch. First couple of times you do this, start out standing still. Stand one foot and then put that foot out and use the nose to twist your body around. In the twist I put quite some shin pressure in but you don't need to do a bloody nose manual like I'm doing there. Just a bit more shin pressure and the skis are going to slide around easier. So you know, always do this at low speeds, because at high speeds it's a pretty dangerous move. Because that nose can really <laughs> catch an edge, because that's basically what you're doing. Ideally, I'd like you to look over the same shoulder towards where you're riding. And we're getting weird with it, you know, you know, rock up the after ski, do the jaywalk spin, tail butter for example. That's gonna impress some people. And when I did this, you, get, you know, you get pretty good rotation from the drag there. So use that and bring it into the butter. Mm. All right, so that's a nose block or nose stall. I'm confused with what it's called, but anyway. So no stall or nose block. Whatever it's called. It's pretty fun. And it can also help you learn knowledge later on. And the first step of doing it is that you just start doing this. Like you start rolling forward with a small pop. If you have soft skis like me, that's pretty easy to do. But if you have soft, it's pretty hard to do it on a bank like that then it'd be easier with a stiff flexed ski. Anyway, so you start like this. Oh, that felt good. If you struggle maintaining good balance, you can use your poles, put them like slightly in front of your noses, and then you can feel the balance like this. Oh, where it is. It's a little bit hard. Try that a couple of times, like in a tiny bank like this, with a Minimal amount of speed. I just, oh, get the balance and then down. And once you're down with a bit more speed, you can go up. Oh, oh, oh! What a ruthless barbarian I am for ruining a good spot. So I don't want to be the guy that ruined the, the sweet bank. Oh. That was pretty good, but I think one thing we've learned here is that it's actually not an easy beginner trick. What, 20 tries, Jens? But it is fun. It's really fun. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you learn any of these five tricks, 
post a video of yourself on Instagram with the hashtag I stomped it. And I'll be giving one of you 200 bucks worth of Merino gear from Smartwool. Um, yeah, check that out. Or uh, if you want to learn more, check out our other videos, beginner pack, intermediate tutorials. We have a bunch, you know, the website and the channel. Just check it out. See you in the next video. We'll be teaching you something else.